Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 7 of our Juventus career mode in FIFA 19. Now actually I actually have uh, recorded this uh, commentary before uh, I'm doing this one and uh, I didn't realise my mic had corrupt so uh, I was kind of stuck with uh, a mic recording with no actual recording so I had to restart it unfortunately so hopefully I can do my best to keep uh, it at high paced and as interesting as uh, I had it beforehand but anyway before I do get into the highlights and talking about the gameplay if you could leave a like on the video that'd be greatly appreciated also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this video and subscribe if you haven't already post notifications turned on as well so you don't miss an episode of any career mode or any video I do on this channel so what we have here today is episode number seven obviously of our Juventus career mode we have a really really big signing at the end of the uh, episode here um, January transfer window just opened uh, so yeah these are the games before in the, the running end of December and uh, I think the start of January as well um, but this uh, this one is against obviously Roma really really um, good uh, like first half I guess first 25 minutes of the game there's so many chances um, I also posted a tweet today to say if you prefer my short goals and then highlights videos which are like 15 minutes long or would you prefer to see me do extended highlights where I show goals and then loads of highlights instead of just a few like missed chances and stuff would you like to see extended highlights or just the normal regular like 10 to 15 minute videos or would you like to see 20 to 30 minute videos potentially so let me know in the comment section below I'd really appreciate it if you could let me know but anyway Morata picks up the ball here what a goal this is. This is probably contender for goal of the season uh, with Ronaldo's goal the other uh, episode uh, because what a goal that was. Nine goals in th this season as well from Rata so far. And uh, trust me, he's not st he's not stopping there. He's definitely got more goals in the tank. Uh, so in this half, obviously I, I have showed quite a lot of uh, highlights because uh, I did create a lot of chances in this first half. So... Um, obviously that's another factor do I want to show more highlights or do I want to show less but yeah action packed first half here uh, Morata plays the ball into Costa whips it across misses Rabio, misses Ronaldo as well because the defender does manage to clear it away with a header uh, we whip it in from a corner both of the defenders uh, miss the ball somehow Mata is the one that clears the ball away uh, we get another chance here with uh, Rabio, but it blocks from the defender straight away he tries to pass it into uh, Dybala but we couldn't actually get the ball through to him and that is the half time whistle we're 1-0 up not a, probably could have scored more this half but oh well and uh, Pellegrini there misses the and one of the easiest rebounds we ever get in his career somehow I just don't get how he's missed that but um, Ronaldo here good pressing from him he runs down the wing lays it across to Quadrado who strikes but the keeper saves it uh, with a nice save pushed out into the wide area. Quadrado gets the ball again. Really poor cross. I don't know why it did that, but uh, Morata tries ahead of there. And uh, we do, in fact, bring on Mandzukic uh, for Morata. That was his last contribution. We get a corner here. Mandzukic's first touch uh, actually makes a really good save from the keeper. And that is the full-time whistle. We literally won 1-0 out of all the chances we had. We only won one 0 but I mean a win a win a win is a win. Uh, three points guaranteed there. So we move on into the next game away from home against Atalanta. Uh, this is gonna be a really hard game because uh, every time I play this team, I always seem to struggle. Doesn't matter what team I'm using. Uh, so hopefully this is a good episode. I mean, it's not not episode, good a game uh, to watch. But they start off really bright here. Great chance from the striker there who couldn't quite uh, finish his dinner there in the first like two minutes of the game I think that was again the other striker here gets in behind the defense can't finish it either we then get a chance here with Ronaldo to uh, Alexandro nice one touch passing uh, and then Mandzukic is the one that gets the strike off but keeper makes a nice save into uh, or out to the uh, side of the pitch and we get a corner keeper saves it nice punch uh, Emre Chan here really nice effort there if that went in that could have been a contender for goal of the month no not goal of the month goal of the season sorry uh, but unfortunately we weren't able to score Rabio gets a chance here really nice um, dip shot which was going to go into the corner but keeper makes a great save again this keeper was on fire for, uh, 
uh, at Atalanta. We get a chance there from the corner, but we can't actually finish it. Moving on to the second half, Chesney should claim it easily, doesn't. Alexandro chips over him. They whip it in, but um, we're lucky Pjanic is there to clear it for us. And then we go on a counter-attack ourselves. Emery Chan to Rabio, who makes a really nice touch driving into their half. Plays it into Ronaldo out on the wing. He cuts inside. And then, what a bad tackle that is. That's got to be a yellow card, because when I first seen it, I, I was like, oh, it's a penalty. He's just inside the box. And obviously, he wasn't. So, uh, I'll take that free kick with Ronaldo. We brought on uh, Quadrado as well for Douglas Costa. Ronaldo, is it going in? No, it hits the ball and the keeper catches it. So, uh, fairly simple for him there. They play a nice ball over the top to their winger. He plays a nice ball into the striker, heads it down. He plays it back to the striker and then... What are you supposed to do there? Chesney probably could have done better. He's just rolled it literally underneath Chesney's hands. And that makes us go down 1-0. Uh, Wendell in an advanced position, picks up the ball, gives it to Ronaldo. He takes a nice shot into the top corner. Really nice goal there from Ronaldo himself. Uh, I mentioned this in, I think, a previous episode, how good Ronaldo actually is. Obviously, you would expect him to be good in this game. He's like one of the highest rated, like him and Messi are the two highest rated players. So, you'd expect him to be good, and boy, he is good on this career mode. I'm really enjoying him. I think he's the top scorer in the league. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he's not. So, uh, yeah, they play a nice ball in there. Chesney tries to save it uh, in the top corner with his arm, and then it just ends up hitting his face, going out for a corner. Uh, in the 88th minute, so they are pushing on for a winner here. We clear it here, well, we try to clear it here with Pjanic, and then the striker uh, went for a bicey there, and Chesney has to push it out for another corner. In the 89th minute now, they whip it in. Pjanic should clear it. He doesn't do it properly. They whip it back in. We get it back out. Then we try to clear it again, but then it goes straight to their midfielder, who lays it into the striker, and yeah. Um, they scored in the 90th minute, and it's just... It's just so annoying, like the chances we created for us to then uh, concede in the 90th minute, it's really annoying. But um, yeah, this is the full time whistle, well eventually, but obviously, oh, sorry I sneezed there, but anyway, so obviously we tried to get a chance there from the kickoff, but it just wasn't going to happen for us, which is really annoying. But we do move into the final episode, on oh, no, the final game of the episode, sorry, against Sampdoria at home. Decent game for us to hear to bounce back after that uh, loss in the 90th minute because Sampdoria aren't the best of teams, but they're they're still a decent side. But this this is a game we should be winning. Uh, Quadrado plays it into Morata here, first time shot. What a goal that is! Top corner and out. What a goal! What a goal from Morata there. Won the lap within three minutes. Really really nice, well worked goal. Quadrado making the key pass there and Morata pinging, pinging it into the top corner. Uh, I just want to say sorry. Uh, if my commentary is not as good as it normally is because I'm ill at the moment so obviously you could hear me like sniffling and stuff and uh, if I sneeze and stuff which is really annoying because I take these uh, videos in one take as Murata just scores a really nice header there looped it over the keeper to the back post I take these co post commentary videos in one go in like the whole 15 minutes uh, so it is really annoying when stuff like that happens but I do apologise I can't really help it um, but yeah, we move on into the 21st minute here. Morata, a nice touch inside the box. And he's just completely ballooned that away. He should be doing better there. I don't know what he was doing there. But anyway, um, yeah, we move on into the 28th minute. They're pressing on down the line. Uh, the winger, Gaston Ramirez, whips it in. And how's, the, how's he scored that header? Chesney should be saving that. And he's just li he's nearly outside the box. And he scored that header. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Anyway, Quadrado wins the header somehow. Murata into Dybala. Dybala pushing on in. He takes a shot and then he goes down and we get a penalty. And the centre-back even gets a red card. I don't really know if he actually made contact with Dybala. And we took the shot and then the ref gave the penalty. So, um, if we can see here, it's not a great angle. But it looks like he just doesn't touch Dybala at all. But yeah, uh, I, don't, I mean, we've got a penalty, so I can't really complain. Dabala runs up, coolly puts it into the bottom corner there, and we go 3 1 up just before the half time whistle. So, I mean, it's great for us because we are now two goals ahead, comfortable. They've got a red card, so we can have a bit of fun with this game. But it didn't really turn out like that because 84 minutes in, we literally have not. This is the first chance of the second half that I had to show you guys. Literally, Ronaldo, and it goes straight to the keeper. Uh, which is really annoying 
But then they have a corner here, whips it in, and um, we clear it. 89th minute, Matuidi pushing on here uh, in the last minute or so. Ronaldo holds the ball up really nicely there and plays a nice through ball to Quadrado. He's running down the wing here, cuts inside, uh, plays it inside to Dybala. He plays it back out to uh, Matuidi. Through ball to De Siglio. I thought, why not? Let's just shoot first time. Good block by the defender. Goes up for a corner in the last minute of the game. Whips it in. And uh, Morata. Really good goal there from Alvaro Morata. Um, yeah. Hat-trick from Morata. Really, really well played from him. Another great performance. I think that's his second hat-trick for us this uh, season so far. Which is really good. Uh, he's on good form at the moment. So, yeah. Look at that. Morata, three. Dabala, one. Nothing more you could want from the team. Really good episode <laughs> in terms of games. Uh, another win for us there. We, we got two wins, one loss. Moving on into the transfer, Liverpool have offered £34 million for Kadira. Now, the big thing is, do I accept it? Yes. The answer is yes, I do accept this, and you'll see why I have accepted it. £34 million for a 31-year-old, and then for that money, we then go use it somewhere else, which you guys will see in a few minutes. Now, loan offer for De Siglo here, I rejected it because... Uh, De Ziglo is actually a decent player for us uh, when we use him, so I was never, um, there was no chance I was going to loan him out, let alone or sell him, let alone loan him out. So Mandzukic has an offer here for 17.9 from Leipzig, rejecting it as well. I use him, so I don't want to be selling one of my, my backup striker. Literally, now guys, here's the moment you probably will be waiting for from the title: Paul Pogba. I was not going to pay his uh, buyout clause because that's just a waste of money because I knew I could get him for cheaper. So, uh, Jose Mourinho coming into our board office. We've got 186 million to play with here. Now, he's valued at 70 million and uh, I think he's worth more than that. So, I went straight in with a high offer of 96 million pounds. I was like, okay, they're going to ask for like 120. But Mourinho said it's a fair offer. So, I mean, I'll take it. We do have money left over to make more signings. So, if you have any suggestions, then let me know in the comments down below. Uh, moving into the contract negotiations with Paul Pogba. Now, this is going to be some signing we do manage to get him. Obviously, he's um, going to be a crucial player for the squad. He'll be starting every game unless he gets injured. Uh, his wage, current wage, is 230 grand a week, which is so much money for a football player, in my opinion. It's such, I just don't get how they get paid so much. But anyway, I wanted to put a release clause on him for 200 million, but I don't know if they accepted that. Yeah, they went down to 155, which is... I mean, it's perfect for me because it means that his wage will go down uh, and he wants 155 grand a week and 1.6 uh, for a signing bonus. But then I declined his uh, uh, signing on bonus, I think it was. So then I just improved it to, or then he improved his wage to 190 grand a week. So we signed Paul Pogba, he's in the squad. We weren't done there. We went straight in after him for Tony Cruz, valued at 65 million. I only had 83 million to play with, so... I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to be able to get him. So I offered 70 million, just flat 70 million. And they wanted 112 million plus 5% sell on clause. So unfortunately, I don't know if this one's going to go through because I do try again, uh, which unfortunately, lads, I wasn't able to get him. I know it's annoying, but anyway, this is the end of the episode. I've signed Pogba. We're going to push on for this title. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.